you did bring up the fashion scorecard, which Ed, we're gonna do again. So uh, we're gonna focus a little bit on Rutgers with this. So let's bring up our first picture. And uh, we can start talking uh, fashion with Ed, which is always a, the, the highlight of his weekends. So here is uh, your coach there, Mr. Shiano. This is a 2012-2013 time frame when he left uh, Rutgers to go to Tampa Bay. Uh, he's wearing a pretty typical like black suit. He's got very nice angles on his lapel and in his collar uh, with a power tie. Um, this is me uh, pre-pandemic in a much more expensive suit. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, Ed? Listen, I think the guy knows how to dress and he knows how to play to his audience and he knows the situation, right? So when he's talking to Bruce Beck on inside Rutgers football, he's wearing a Rutgers pullover. But when he's getting introduced to uh, in front of the Tampa Bay media, guy's dressed to the nines. Guy's no, he, the guy's all business. Got to respect him. Um, I know I'm going. I, I echo that, and you're you're kind of taking my thunder uh, from all the pictures we're going to show. But I'll jump to my last comment on him that I had thought of. It, it's that when he dresses, he's telling everybody two things: I am serious about football, and I want you to know that I am serious about football. So let's take a look at him in a different environment in this next picture. And here he is coaching when he's at Ohio State and obviously doing his best Bill Belichick. I mean, he's got a polo with long sleeve shirt underneath it, like khaki shorts. I mean, this dad bod picture of him makes him look like the perfect everyman coaching on the weekends. I mean, this is kind of what you wear when you're coaching softball, right? I wouldn't wear the, the long sleeve shirt underneath, but yeah, I mean, that, that listen, the guys, try, it's a functional outfit. I'm, listen, I'm just glad guys are wearing longer shorts these days instead of those bike shorts that our gym teachers always wore when we were growing up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, he, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I, I'm glad as well. Uh, and let's, let's get one more picture of Shiano in here. And here he is. Uh, you know, again, like in a suit, uh, he maintains the same look as before, right down to the same tie knot. Uh, and as we mentioned, his fashion is, is there to express a particular point of view, which is I, I mean what I'm saying here. Yeah, and if you saw that press conference when he was reintroduced at Rutgers, I mean, he took control of that room right away. Yeah, yeah, not, not like one of these other guys who you see them do it and, you know, the gate's eyes rolling around or some of the other guys. <laughs> well, yeah, you're using gates. Come on, that's a bad, that's a bad example. <laughs> extremes, extremes. No subtlety here. Uh, let, let's look what we have next. And uh, this is your reminder that you can find me, my scotch, and I on YouTube and TikTok. TikTok has my quick takes. Uh, they also end up on Instagram, as Ed said. And uh, YouTube will have these full episodes and then a couple of playlists for our fashion scorecard and our drink up. And currently TikTok has been the go-to place for Falcon and the Winter Soldier content. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but one of the stars of that show entered Mason Gross at Rutgers University the same year that Shiano started coaching. Uh, Bucky Barnes, real name is Sebastian Stan, is a proud Rutgers uh, alum. Uh, let's take a look at our first shot of uh, Sebastian Stan. This is him uh, in 2010, a fragrance lunch launch party. Um, got a, a black suit with some satin piping and got a black shirt to complete this uh, monochromatic look. Um, it's kind of plain, honestly, but he's still good looking and living free at the clubs. Uh, my son might be wearing this in the near future. Who knows? You? You're asking me if I'm going to wear this? Let, let me tell you something. I, I was watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier before the, before this show, and I was looking at Sebastian Stan, and I'm like, damn, he's a good-looking guy. He could model. And now you've proven to me that he actually was a model. How about that? <laughs> he, is, he, is, uh, he is a particularly good-looking man. There's, there's, there's no uh, question about it. Uh, as this next photo will show, um, he's, this photo – was taken in uh, of Stan in Utah. Look, you can take the kid out of Rutgers, but you cannot take Rutgers out of the kid. You must recall some guys who dressed just like this out of Mason Gross many years ago. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, and they, they're probably all like the Winter Soldier now. <laughs> I mean, probably should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> that's, that's all right. We've got one more for you to comment on. And uh, here he is in New York. I mean, he likes a wired headset. I don't know if you noticed in the other picture, he had a white wired headset. Now he's got a black wired headset. There's a guy I know from them for some AirPods, but it's what he likes. I appreciate a man who likes uh, to wear more than one style hat. He, I'm copying him or he's copying me here. Uh, and this outfit just looks super comfortable. Uh, that leather jacket is great. And I, I love it in the green. Your thoughts? My first thoughts on the wired headset are, it's not so much about the wired headset, that he's actually got a phone that actually has a jack that you can put a wired headset into. So... <laughs> That actually dates his phone. I mean, I, I, I can't really see, but is that a flip phone? Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else you can plug something into anymore. But the hat jumps. I know you picked this picture because of the hat. You're all about the hat. So I can see that. Um, the green jacket, he pulled. Listen, I'm telling you, he can pull anything off. He's a Rutgers grad and he's a Winter Soldier. So who am I to get in the way of his fashion? Well put. Well put. 